Hey, Chris Menard here. Let me show you two cool tricks in Microsoft Excel and also give you one announcement. I've got a list of customers by state and if I make a chart Alt F1 we'll put into the default column chart. There it is. If you notice over on the right I made another chart already. The one on the right is the one I prefer. So let me get rid of this one. This chart you can create, because by default you can't make this with Excel. You have to go to Insert, Add-ins, and right here it's called the People Graph. And if you don't have it, you click on My Add-ins, you click on See All, and it'll pull up a bunch of add-ins. And it's called the People Graph, and notice who it's from. It's from Microsoft. So that is how I created this chart. And I can see this being very useful because we're always looking at data by employee, vendor, contractor, state, uh, customers, clients. And watch this. If I change Florida to 300, it immediately updates. I've got three people for Florida now. Watch what happens if I make it 50. There you go. So that's tip number one is you can go to insert and pull in add-ins and find different charts. The second tip I've got is when I go to my data I have several pivot tables in this file. I have a total of 187 records. If I go to sheet number two I made two pivot tables on this worksheet. The pivot table on the right in column E and F that one was pretty easy to create. So next week I'm going to do a free webinar. It'll either be on Tuesday or Wednesday at 7 p.m. So that's going to be the 23rd or 24th of January. And I'm going to show you not only how to make this pivot table, but the one over to the left, that is called a subtotal right here. There's Carol's subtotal. I'm going to show you on the one on the left how to do subtotals, multiple subtotals with your data. Notice I've got the sum, the count, average, and max for all my different reps. Another trick is if I go to pivot table one, I've got the grand totals at the bottom. Usually by default you only get a grand total sum. Once again I'll show you how to do grand totals, multiple grand totals, and multiple subtotals. If you want, if you're interested in the webinar, if you look up in the top right corner of this video, you can either vote yes or no, and if I get enough yes votes, then I'll do it. Uh, please vote by Friday so I can schedule it. One last item, and this is a cool trick. If I go to File, this Excel file is only 95 KB. Not that large, but I don't have a lot of data. A lot of people don't know this, but you can, if your Excel file gets really large with pivot tables, you can right-click on your data source and delete it. And I'm going to click delete. That worksheet is gone. But your pivot tables will actually still work. I can actually still manipulate my pivot tables. And the advantage of that, I'm going to click on save and then go check the file size. We went from 95 down to 49. So roughly a 50% decrease in the file size. That won't always be the case. But in general, that usually really reduces the size of your Excel files. Thank you. Feel free to click up in the right whether you want the webinar next week if you're interested. It's going to be about pivot tables. And one last little note, my class on Excel tables is still free. And all you have to put in is your email and your name. And once you click on sign up, you actually go to the course immediately. Thank you.